Hey, Gina here. Okay, so you're like tend to your garden and then you see me like watering my plants. So I thought this was kind of appropriate. So there's two things I wanted to talk about today. I was so inspired by that guy, um, George Hood. Hopefully you guys were on my Periscope the other day. Um, all, you know, he's planking. He has the Guinness Book Record. Hey, for planking, he holds a plank for five hours, 15 minutes, and 15 seconds. And I was just so inspired by him that I wanted to share with you guys a couple variations of the plank. So I'm gonna do that in a little bit. So I'm gonna do this in like two different periscopes. Yay, wasn't that incredible? I was like, it was so awesome. I was down at the water with my family and um, ran into him and he's down there like all the time because he's training to now um, get the record for planking the longest time with a 40 pound weight on his back. So that's pretty awesome. So he's down there all the time and I ran into him a couple times and it was just really cool to capture him on Periscope. So, so I'm going to share with you some different variations of planks in just a little bit. I love the plank. As he said, you heard it straight from him. Yeah. Sorry that you missed that one because it was pretty awesome. Like running into him and just chatting with him and how he does it and how he digs deep. That's just Hi Marissa. Um, it was really, really cool to talk to him. So we'll catch him again because he's always down there and I'm always down there with my family. So um, I've just been really, he's been, he's been on my mind all this week when I feel like I can't get it, can't dig any deeper. Like today I was running and I was like, okay, you know, I've got 35 minutes total on this run. And I thought about him and I was planking for over five hours. I was like, okay, I could totally do this. That's, this is ridiculous, Gina, come on. And as he said, it's all mental math. So you got to dig into that mind. So, hey Gina. So, okay, so that's what I wanted to tell you is I want to share with you a couple planks and I'm gonna do that in a little bit. Um, yay, I'm glad that you that you are here, Marissa, so that I can inspire you just a little bit and I, that brings me to my next topic. So, I'm gonna share with you those planks in a few minutes. So I'm gonna break this up into two periscopes, but right now I'm watering my garden and um, I was thinking about you because first of all, I'm like the queen of multitasking. Mothers out there know like you have to multitask. So I just got back from my run, the, David's inside with some with some family and Nicolette's in the stroller sleeping. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta water these plants. So before I get my workout on, I need to water these plants. And I wanted to share with you something. So once I read this article about tending to your garden and how it's such a good analogy for tending to your body and your mind. And uh, here's a perfect example. So. If you water your garden every single day, the plants are gonna stay green and it's gonna look fresh and clean and beautiful, right? Well, if you only water your garden, let's say once every two weeks or once a month, um, oh, I'm so glad, thank you. Thanks for joining, Nicole. So if you got only water your garden uh, once every two weeks or once a month, your plants are gonna die, everything, your weeds are gonna grow, your, it's not gonna be as pretty, everything's just not gonna look so great, right? So it's such a good analogy for if you tend to your garden every single day and you do the things that you need to do to maintain a healthy lifestyle, eating well, exercising, practicing mental strength and you know mantras, which I'm really big on, and focusing on all those things, you're gonna keep your garden fresh and clean and um, just beautiful. But if you just are doing things here and there, like if you water your garden or just eat clean, let's say once every two months, what is that gonna look like? Your body's not gonna be the same as if you're tending to it day after after day so I just thought it was such a good analogy and the other thing is is like if you let yourself go or if you let your garden go like right now okay it's been so hot here that these plants are like oh kind of dying um, so I haven't been tending to my garden like I should be I'm tending to myself but this is just a perfect example because now this like everything's kind of done well I'm gonna bring it back to life but things are kind of brown and dry and I have weeds to pull and it's like if I would have just been tending to this garden every day it wouldn't have been so much work to get it back to looking amazing. So just like our bodies and our minds and everything, if we tend to ourself and you know from the inside out every single day and do the things that we need to do, little tiny things daily, tending to our garden, then it's not so much work when we've been putting ourselves on the back burner for so long. So I just thought that was a really cool analogy and it's just perfect example here because I'm, I'm multitasking right now, so sorry, I'm like looking back and forth. But um, I just thought it was a really cool analogy and it just, it really, resonated with me because it's just so true. It's like if you are only putting in work and time and effort just once, you know, once a month, 
then you come back and you put the effort in again, imagine how much harder it's gonna be to get yourself back on track. It's like so much more work, it's gonna be so much harder, you've gotta pull the weeds, you've gotta basically start over. And I feel like if you tend to your garden every single day, then it's like so much less work. And I'm kinda of kicking myself right now because I'm seeing the situation I've got going on here and I'm like, okay, I have a little bit more work to do on my garden than just watering. I've got to pull these weeds and I've got to now water it probably twice a day for a week or so just to get things really green again and beautiful. So that was just kind of on my mind and I thought I would share it as I'm literally watering my garden <laughs> right now. Um, but yeah, so I just want you to remember that. So tend to your garden every single day and it will be so much less work in the long run than if you only put in the work and the effort and the energy once a week or once a month. So yeah, so I hope that that resonates with you and that gives you something to think about as I'm literally watering my garden and these beautiful plants right now, bringing them back to life. And um, yeah, so I will check back with you just shortly as soon as I'm done watering and I'm gonna share with you a couple of my very, very favorite plank variations. So I'll see you in a few. Okay, bye-bye.